Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut an instant hijab. This instant hijab I'm talking about is, is a wrap hijab or is a doubled hijab. So I'll be using this chiffon fabric to cut it out. The length of my hijab is going to be 28 inches. You can see with the same allowance. Then the wideness of the hijab I'll be using 75 inches. This is not constant. It depends on how wide, how big you want the hijab to be. And the length depends on the length of the hijab too. That 26 inches I took depend on the length of the hijab. You can see. This is one table 62 inches. Then I'm going to take a measurement of 13 inches to make it 75 inches. 62 plus 13 will give us 75. So you can see. So after cutting it out this way, this is the length I need. The next thing is the roundness of the face. The roundness of the face here is 21 inches. I'm going to spread everything out this way before taking the necessary measurement that you need. So, I will be starting from the right side here, folding it into two like this. So, I'm folding it from the right into two. Then I'm going to take the wideness of the the wideness of the face like this. This is 21 inches. That means we folded since it's been folded into two. 10.5 inches they give us 21 inches so then this is the 10.5 inches then we are leaving um four inches yeah so this is where to tape it then we're going to have this like this after taping after stitching we're stitching like this so i'm going to notch it to know the area to stitch like this you can see i've notched the two then i'll not come to the other side here and fold it the way i folded the first one but it's going to overlap this like this it's going to overlap it Overlap it the distance between the two now will not be five inches. The five inches that I'm talking about is not constant, you can make it of any inches of a child, but don't let it be bigger than um than that of five. It can be smaller than five inches, but don't let it be bigger than five inches. This is it. And this I'm going to check my 10.5 inches here too 10.5 inches this is where the 10.5 inches then i will not take the distance this is my 10.5 inches the distance from this stitching and this stitching must be 5 inches as for me it must be 5 inches right there will not be any opening at the neck This is six inches so i will have to increase the folding a little bit it can be smaller than five inches but don't let it be bigger than five inches so let me check again this 
10.5 inches. This is 5.5 inches, so I will have to increase it a little bit too, just to give me the 5 inches or lesser. This is 10.5 inches. Yes, this is 3.7 inches. So it's okay for me. It can be 5 or lesser than 5. Don't let it be don't let it to be more than 5 so that there will not be opening at the neck. So this is my 10.5 inches. I'm going to notch it also. This is not the folding the first one is in here you can see this is the first one this is where to stitch and the second one is here so the second one is longer this is the one that is going to be at the top this is the one that is going to be at inside you can see this one it has a smaller length after the stitching you can see let me take the measurement for you to see this is four inches but this one that is going to be at the top after the stitching it has this is this this is where to stitch it after the stitching it has 21 inches you can see it's bigger than that of the one that is going to stay inside so the next thing now is to give it a nice shape from here now i'll be taking up five inches just to give it a nice shape i will be cuffing it like this nice shape you can see it from here we cough it down you can see So then I cannot hop, I will not open it now to round it so that it's going to give a round shape at the tip of the job. So you can see this is the first one that we did. Then we cannot open it and make it to be two to be as in we cannot open it and fold it together this way so that they will have the same shape together like this. trying to trim since this area is equal the upper parts that we're going to stitch the upper part that's going to be at the face area is equal so you're going to start from here so you can see now So this is now the shape, the dance shape of the hijab. You can see the down. You can see it's look off. The next thing that we're cutting out now is the cap. It's only one that is going to have cap. The inner half is the inner one will not have cap. The outer one is the one that is going to have cap. So we're cutting out the cap now. So to cut out the cap, I'm folding this into two. You can see this is into two, then into four, like this. The next thing I'll be taking is the length and the wideness of the cap. The length of the cap I'm using five inches with the same allowance. The wideness I'm using seven inches for the same allowance.
so I want to use this to cough it out I don't want it to give me a free shape to give me a free shapes I want something cough a little bit cough that's why I'm using this ammo cut to trace it out then I'm going to cut it out going to notch this area this is going to be the center so we'll be attaching this at one at the upper one that is going to be at the front so i'll be showing you let me go and show you to you how to do all this the first notch to stitch This is not the cup, you can see it. So, let me go and wait and show you how it's going to be. Welcome back. I want to show you how to wear this particular hijab with two faces. You can see it. The first one is the one without a cap. The second one is the one with cap. So I'm going to wear the first one first. Like this. Then I'll be putting the I'll be wearing the second one on it. You can see. This is the face, so it's like this. So, this is how it's going to be. You can see how beautiful this now. You can see the front. You can see the side. You can see the other side too. And this is the back. So, you can decide to make use of a brooch. So, for those who watch me for the first time, you are in the right place to be. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever I upload any tutorial, you will be notified. See my next last. Bye.